Hey, ladies. And guys, too. I just, I love you guys in kind of a different way, except for you, Eros. <laughs> uh, so how are you guys doing tonight? All right, so four of you are doing really good. That's awesome. That means the rest of you are equally as terrified as I am. <laughs> um, first of all, because most of like my friends outside of here weren't able to make it tonight, a um, little shout out. Justin, I'm wearing the hat, okay? I, I wear it in public. Calm down. <laughs> um, and Catherine, hi hey, cutie. Um, so, who out of all of you, have, raise your hands, have been through a really bad breakup? I actually can't see any hands, so I guess it's just me. <laughs> um, but I hope some of you at home are raising your hands awkwardly from your computer screen, and I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> um, something that goes along with that, um, sometimes things just end terribly. And, you know, I've had experiences like that. And a friend of mine actually talked to me about that just a week ago. And the awesome thing that he said was, as much as you might want closure, sometimes that other person won't do it. And you can't expect it from them. They don't owe you anything. So it's important to find that closure internally sometimes. Because sometimes that other person does not want to you know, hash everything out and, you know, expose themselves to someone they don't want to be in their life anymore. And so this, what I have for you tonight, is a little bit of my own way of finding closure with, you know, recent relationships and whatnot. Because sometimes you just got to throw your feelings out in here if no one's going to hear you scream. So I have a little thing for you I call wind chime. Hate and love are both four-letter words, both extremes, yet so blurred is their line that I ponder the real differences between up and down and life and death. To love and to hate both leave me breathless, shocked into existence. I hate you for every moment I loved you, and I love you for every moment I hated you. I love you for how you destroyed me, my form now reassembled, and each tiny scar has left me strengthened and unbreakable. I hate you for the first time you smiled, because I may never again see that slight grin that was all for me. And like some bipolar child, my feelings sway between the two, like the striker of a wind chime. To and fro, I shout each note. The pain and anger and longing and lust ring together in a harmony that just screams, I feel! The torment you give me catches the wind and I only grow louder, more frenzied, losing all semblance of balance as the tempest throws me left and right. But no matter how you toss me, I will not stop. My song will never be silenced. Even in the deafening storm, I can still be heard. But my song does not play for you, it plays for me. For every time I felt alive. Even in hatred, my heart beats louder than the thunder. Love and hate resonate together, and I sway and chime and dance between each note. Like a fool, I will dance and sing in the, as the gale continues. Tumble into tone after tone until I have finished my ballad of woe and loss. And when I feel it is done, I will become still. Your whistles on the breeze will not move me. I will be a mountain against your storm. And one day, I will play a different tune. A new wind will catch me. But when you listen, certain notes will be missing. Like the ringing in your ear from a clamorous sound, some bells I will lose forever, pieces of me taken away in the gust. I give those notes to you willingly. I hate you so much that I never want to play them again. And I love you so much that I want you to have them. Thank you.